Braided egg bread is made with an enriched dough and yeast bread. When bakers augment the percentage of sugar, shortening, and milk, the dough becomes richer and softer. It also increases the dough's shelf life. Many different ingredients such as milk, oil, sugar, butter, may be used to enrich the dough. The additional fats will increase the gluten elasticity and shorten its strands. Sugar, in addition to tenderizing the dough, promotes quick fermentation and the caramelization of the crust during the baking process. To prepare the dough, measure all ingredients and set them out in front of you. It is also important to have the proper equipment and tools needed for the task at hand. This formula uses a straight dough mixing method, which is one of the two methods used in the production of yeast breads. We're going to place 75% of the water in the bowl of the mixer fitted with a dough hook. We're going to dissolve the sugar, salt in the water. And then add the eggs and mix them till they're blended. water and the eggs and sugar are mixed quite well now. We're going to sprinkle the sifted flour on top of the water and we'll allow it to hydrate for 30 minutes. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes now. The, wa the water and the flour are well hydrated. I've got the yeast already dissolved in the remaining water. I'm going to add it to the mixer. We never want to add yeast directly to the salt solution because the salt will inhibit the activity of the yeast. We're going to mix the ingredients until they're thoroughly incorporated. It'll be about a minute or so and then we're going to add the vegetable oil or any other fat that you desire in the particular formula. Knowing that the flour absorption is variable in all types of yeast doughs, We'll adjust the consistency of the dough if necessary by adding more liquid or flour. And we'll continue mixing the dough to develop the gluten. Dough looks well developed. Test the dough by stretching it until it becomes translucent. This is known as the window pane test and it looks pretty good. We're going to remove it from the machine now and we're going to put it in a bowl. We're going to cover it with a damp cloth. Allow the dough to rest at the appropriate temperature, about 75 to 90 degrees. Once the dough is doubled in size, it'll be ready to work. This first fermentation period is known as bulk fermentation. During this stage, the flavor of the dough will develop. And regulating the temperature, it might extend the fermentation process and thus developing the flavor in the dough. Now the dough is doubled in size. We're going to punch the dough down to redistribute the available food for the yeast and to expel the carbon dioxide and ethyl alcohol that's have developed. This will also even up some of the temperature from outside to inside. I'm going to divide the dough into 12 to 16 ounce portions. We want to round the dough into a smooth ball. We're going to continue to divide the rest of the dough and we're going to allow those pieces to relax for 20 minutes. Keep in mind that the yeast activity continues and the dough, as the dough is being shaped and it's important to continue working as quickly as possible. I have some pieces here that have relaxed and I've divided it into three. This is a one pound piece of dough divided into three pieces. The reason you want to work quickly with the dough is because if you let it sit too long on the bench, the yeast will not perform well 
and the finished product will lack volume and color. We're going to take the balls, roll them into long strips, roll from the center to the outside. Lay the strands of dough vertically and parallel to each other and press the dough together at the top of the ends of the strands. See how I pinch that together? We're going to lift the left strand and cross over the center strand. Then lift the right strand and cross over the new center. Continue until all the strands are braided. Tuck any unused dough ends under and the braid will look nice on the ends. Place on the sheet pan. We have some already finished. Brush the dough with a little bit of egg wash. At this point, the dough must be fermented in the proof box, which begins the final leavening of the dough. Proof the dough until it's doubled in size. These loaves have come out of the proof box and they're about double. Another way to check is if you touch and that little indent stays, that means it's maxed out with volume and ready for the oven. Bake them at 350 until they're golden brown. The baking time is going to be about 20 to 25 minutes and then we'll remove them from the oven and allow the bread to cool completely. I have some in the oven that are already finished. Let's take a look. Beautiful. You can see the nice glossy finish from the egg wash.